What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dev Slopes. In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of the most popular questions we've been getting lately. And I recently got this question on Instagram and it's how do I make money with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? So this is the cool part about programming, right? Is you can make money early on as a programmer. And I have this awesome slideshow that we're about to break into. But this is the cool thing about programming is once you have a foundational knowledge down, you can easily start making money as a developer. And by the way, this is the exact process that we use to teach our students at DevSoft, part of our Earn While You Learn curriculum to help them go out and land thousands of dollars with freelancing on a monthly basis. So let's break this down. So how to make money with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So the cool thing about programming, right, is you can do this in as little as four months. This is the, the, the time slot that we kind of let our students know. And a lot of the students, they even do this a little bit earlier on, or they, you know, maybe a little bit further. It takes around six to eight months. But regardless, you don't find a lot of skills that you can make money quickly like this. So once you have, you know, a pretty solid foundation of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the way you're going to actually go out and get money quickly is by freelancing. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to be able to get a job with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript right out of the gate. Sometimes you can. I, it's very rare that you're going to be able to find, you know, a high-paying salary job with just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They particularly want more skills like React, some back-end knowledge, and things along those lines. But it doesn't mean that you can't make money freelancing with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can make a lot of money on a monthly basis with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, before you run away with the word freelancing, understand that this is not intense freelancing. We're not asking you to go out and land $1,500 monthly retainer projects where you have to update them constantly and you're pretty much working and slaving away for clients and things along those lines. We're not asking you to do that. The projects you're going to be looking for with the knowledge you have are going to be $200 to $1,000 fixed price projects. They're going to be relatively simple and they're going to be one-time only projects. Meaning once you finish the project, it's done. You get, it's a transaction. You get the money. You're good. So what, are, what is this actually going to look like? So we're going to go to a site like Upwork, right? Because this is where we put all our students. We help you know pay for their credits and things like that. But we're going to go to a site like Upwork and we're going to type in WordPress developer. Now keep in mind, you're not a WordPress developer. We're not asking you to be a WordPress developer. Just understand that you do need to have some kind of foundational knowledge of WordPress and you know Squarespace, Wix, and these no-code solution sites, which, by the way, are super easy to learn how these sites navigate and function. And if you have four months of legit knowledge in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you're going to pick up these skills incredibly fast. So we're going to be typing WordPress developer here because this is where we're going to find a lot of the projects that we're looking for. And if you look at some of these projects, we're going to find exactly what we talked about in that little box. So look, check this out. Website redesign with enterprise content management. So if we click on this project, let's look at some of the things that they're asking for. We're looking for a talented web designer to completely revamp our website. The main objective is to create a modern and visually appealing website with that is user friendly and optimized for mobile devices. So we take a look at this, they're redesigning the website layout and structure, implementing new and engaging visual elements, the skills required, proficiency in web design and UI and UX principles, strong understanding of responsive design and mobile optimization, which is not hard to learn if you're working with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, exactly what we're looking for, and experience with content management platforms such as WordPress. So this is literally the perfect project that we would even pitch our students, hey, sign up for this project. And, and, and if we look at this, it's a fixed price, $500. This really fits in line with what we're looking for. And we're going to find a lot of these projects going through. See, look at this one. It's a little bit less, 75 bucks. Safely update six plugins to my website. See, they need a WordPress, WooCommerce, WooPayment. They just need, you know, simple stuff added into their website. This is easy easy projects that you can easily go out and land and make some side cash while doing it. And, and, and that's pretty much as simple as it gets. You're not really looking for anything crazy. What you're going to find is the gold mine that you're looking for is going to be with those like mom and pop shops. You know what I mean? Just just uh, maybe a restaurant that you know needs help implementing DoorDash and things along those lines. These are the projects that you can easily take and land relatively easy. So the question really is now, how do I actually apply for these projects? So if we take a look at some of these projects, I'm going to guarantee you right now, a lot of people are applying for these. And that's okay because a lot of people, they don't really know the proper way to apply for projects like this. So the proper way to do this, and 
keep in mind, what everyone does is they literally go in and they make a template and they copy it and they paste it over for the application and they just fill in the gaps. They fill in the name, fill in the project, things like that. And it, it, it never works. And if you fall into that category, which is what a lot of people online tell you to do, is you're probably never gonna land these projects. The way you do this is by standing out. And the way you stand out is by a tip that we use, it's our golden nugget tip that I'm gonna give you for the day, Loom videos. So I'm actually gonna pull up Loom over here. If we take a look, look at Loom, all you're gonna do is you're gonna click here, you're gonna click create a new video, record a video, and this little window down here, you know, I'm gonna share my screen, and I'm literally gonna be talking them through the project. I'm gonna introduce myself, I mean, and it's gonna take a little bit, you're gonna have to, you know, get a little camera friendly, but I'm gonna introduce myself, I'm gonna talk about how I'm gonna be able to land the project, I'm gonna talk about my experience, and I can even do something at DevSoaps, which we preach, is interest alignment. So what is interest alignment? Interest alignment is basically this. So let's go back to our mom and pop shop, right? They're looking to have someone implement DoorDash. Let's say, you know, I worked as a server for four years prior to learning how to code and learning, you know, the skills I know now. I can use that knowledge to help get me into the door and help create a, an awesome relationship with the potential client. Basically, the video is gonna be like, hey, my name's Connor. This is how you know I'd be able to help revamp your site, X, Y, Z. This is my experience. I've worked with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for this. This is some of the work I've done. You kind of want to have some kind of portfolio to show for. And, and then you can have this awesome little golden nugget here. And I actually worked as a server for the last four years, so I know exactly what it means to work in the service and food industry. And that kind of creates an awesome relationship with you and the client. And that is literally it. That is all you have to do to start making money with just the knowledge you have now. I know this video was relatively short and to the point, but I wanted to keep it that way because it's so cool to be able to learn a skill like programming and make money just four months in. Now, granted, it all depended on how you spend those four months learning. If you're just, you know, going out and learning with tutorials and you're spending like 30 minutes a day, it's probably going to take you a little bit longer and that's okay too. But if you're actually putting the time and actually putting in the time into learning, you're going to be able to start landing freelance projects much, much faster. So that's a wrap for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys later.